Today I'm going to share with you some really easy to implement investing tricks that will help you increase your profits over the long term. How's it going guys? Ryan here with another investing video and today we're talking about some tips and tricks in order to improve your profits when you are investing. But before we get into that guys, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content and leave down below your best investing tips and tricks that you've picked up along the way since you started your investing career. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. And as I mentioned today, we're talking about tips and tricks in order to improve your investing game overall. And these are ones that I effectively have learned over time. No one's actually specifically, I suppose, told me about them in particular, but instead, these are ones that I've come to understand through my own personal experiences investing in the stock market. So the first one is, don't spread yourself too thin. Now, I do always like to say, don't keep all your eggs in one basket because at the end of the day, if you inject your capital all into one single stock and it tanks, then your portfolio is effectively going down the hole with it. But on the opposite side of the scale, you don't wanna spread yourself too thin because what you're doing then is spreading your capital over too many stocks. So you might have one stock go absolutely bananas and it's going up 100%. And then you have three other stocks which are unfortunately going down. And as a result, your portfolio really wouldn't move too much at all. Alternatively, you might have uh, effectively a portfolio of 20 stocks, none of which pay dividends. Some are going up with the market, some are going down with the market. It, it doesn't really work, unfortunately, if you spread yourself too thin. Instead, I would recommend that you pick a few select high quality stocks instead. So we're talking around five or so stocks as opposed to the 10 or 20 mark, which you see a lot of other people talking about. Picking five quality stocks to invest your capital in will effectively grant you greater rewards when these stocks do go up. Obviously, there is the risk of you're in, I suppose, less stocks, but at the end of the day, if you're in too many, you're really not going to see any sort of true gains at all. So investing in a few quality stocks will enable you to A, be able to understand them and learn them more, but B, also increase your profits for when those stocks do go up. And this is really what we're looking at in this video. How do we increase our profits? Now, the second tip that I've learned is to sell your initial stake. Now, this is something known as either free carrying or free holding. And effectively what it means is, let's say you've invested $10,000 into a stock. And then effectively what happens is the stock goes up, let's say 100%. So your stock holding is now valued at $20,000. The concept of free carrying or free holding is selling that initial $10,000 you invested in the stock. That means you have none of the initial capital you invested at risk. And effectively, that $10,000 that is remaining is funny money. It's all profits from what you've made. So regardless of what happens, if the stock shoots up, if the stock goes down, you're not at risk of losing your hard-earned cash from your other income sources such as your full-time job because you've taken that capital out. And what you can do then is put that capital elsewhere into other stocks and other opportunities where you can see that there is going to be profit elsewhere. So this effectively not only reduces your risks but improves your profits in the sense of it allows you to diversify your portfolio a bit more. Now this is a really interesting concept and one that can actually help you also on a psychological point of view. When you've got your own money invested, you get the stress, you get the trading psychology that effectively affects your decision making skills because you know your money's in there and you can see it fluctuating up and down. That effectively removes that part of your brain from the equation and you can make more effective and decisive decisions that will assist you in maximizing your profits on the stock market. Now, the third tip I recommend is always keep some cash on hand. So if you're able to free hold from something and you've got some cash there, wicked, but I'd always recommend keep some cash on hand. 
And the reason for this is if there's opportunities out there on the market, you wanna be able to take advantage of those opportunities. If you wanna maximize your profit, you need to be agile. Obviously, you're gonna have your long-term quality investments sitting there, but there are always opportunities that appear from time to time that are really good and you need to get in as soon as possible in order to take advantage of them. For instance, the Dow Jones might drop 5% in one day. The big stocks, typically your blue chip stocks, might drop a similar sort of amount. You go, wow, that's a great buying opportunity to easily make 5%. Buy into that stock. The next day, the stock goes up 2.5%. You instantly make those sorts of profits. I highly recommend having that cash on hand so you're able to easily jump at those opportunities when the time arises. The fourth tip is invest regularly. And by this, I mean budget and allocate a certain portion of your income to inject into your investment account. So as I say, have cash on hand, but you need to be constantly investing money in order to be making money from the stock market. This is obviously how the whole stock market effectively works, but you wanna make sure a portion of your income is always allocated each, whether it be month, whether it be fortnight, whether it be week, injected into your investing account. Because over time, that's going to compound, especially if you're obviously choosing the right stocks. Injecting that cash consistently over time, as opposed to maybe only doing it every six months or every 12 months, is going to allow you to capitalize on lots more opportunities a lot quicker because you have that capital on hand and you're constantly feeding your investments, which are in turn growing over time, whether that be through in uh, capital growth or whether it be through dividends and those sorts of things. So consistently injecting your money is crucial. Now, tip number five, and this is one of the most important tips. And obviously, if you're long-term investing, this doesn't necessarily apply, but in certain circumstances it does, but this comes more from a trading point of view and my lessons that I've learned from trading. And that's take profits. At the end of the day, if you're investing in a stock, and let's say you haven't done your research too well or you don't know if you're going to be in it long term or if it's spiked to a crazy level and you know it's going to come back, take profits. There is no shame in selling. At the end of the day, what we're here to do is to make money. And the way to make money is to buy stock, it increases in value, then you sell it. Simple as that. Don't be afraid to take those profits because if you're holding onto stocks just for the sake of holding onto them, you shouldn't be in those stocks. And there's going to come a time when you invest in a stock and you get emotionally attached to it and it starts to go down and you've gone from maybe being 100% profits up down to 80%, down to 50%, down to 40%, then to the point where you're actually losing money. I've been in that situation myself and I've lost a lot of money and that is where I've learnt this lesson from. Take profits when you need to. Don't be afraid to cut your losses if they're going backwards but also don't be afraid to take the profits when your stocks are green. So guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you are notified. And as I mentioned, leave down below comments with regards to some of the investing tips and tricks that have assisted you in making profits in the past. So guys, with that, I hope you have an awesome day. See you next time. Cheers.